Hi, this is Jody Wariski. Um, I have been with Archer now for over four years, and today we're going to uh, talk about your why. Uh, everybody has a why for what makes them want to join this organization or make a change in their life completely for anything. Um, so I've asked people some of their whys. A lot of them are either going to be uh, they want to travel they want to work from home, they want to work on their own schedule, be their own boss. Uh, some of you have heard my why before, I'm gonna tell it to you and then I'm gonna go over some other stuff. Um, it was 2019 and I was working for um, a boss who, well, I, working for an organization I absolutely loved, it was a nonprofit, but I was working for a boss who challenged my integrity. I was there four and a half years and um, the boss came in a month prior and wanted me to do things that I don't think you should do in business, much less the business that we were in. We worked with kids who had a parent die. And I was like, I am 49 years old. What do I want to do? I am very good at what I do, but it's not marketable again uh, across all boards. Um, I've been a recruiter in the past, uh, IT recruiter, an insurance recruiter. I have worked in a doctor's office. I had, I raised three kids. So I never, I gave up my career when I started raising my kids and I just did odd jobs. Um, when I say that I was at most of my jobs for about five years. So I started looking and I was like, what am I good at? I'm very detail oriented. Um, I love to travel. We lived in London for three years. We traveled all over with our family of five and anybody who has three or more kids knows that a traveling with three or more kids is challenging because everything's made for two adults and two kids. So I'm like, I can do this. And I applied to about five to seven brick and mortars um, in December, 2019, and I could not get one interview. And they said, we need five years travel experience. And I'm like, I am 49 years old with over 30 years work experience. I know I can do it. Turns out it was the best thing that could have happened to me um, because I don't want to go into an office and work. So January, this came up. I was on a webinar like all of you were, and I thought it was a scam and it took me a week to sign up. So I researched and, you know, yes, there an A plus on the Better Business Bureau. I found an Archer agent in my town. I Facebook stalked her, asked my friends what she liked that we had in common. They said, she's great. Or, and so I contacted her and I said, is this a scam? She goes, no, I book travel. And that's all I do. So I decided to take the leap of faith in January of 2020. My why was to never work for a boss again. I am a really hard worker. Who else here can say that they're a really hard worker, but they weren't appreciated? They weren't appreciated. So, I mean, I remember there'd be ice storms and I'd show up at, you know, I know there's going to be snow and ice storms and I need to get work done. So I'd show up at 3.30 in the morning to get some work done because I had to leave at nine o'clock because there was going to be bad weather. Nobody seemed to care. I cared. I couldn't not do a good job. I had to work hard. And so my why is literally, this is my ride or die. I am not going to work for a boss again. I'm not going to work in an office again. I'm not going to ask, can I take vacation days? Um, I'm 53 years old. I don't want somebody to tell me what I need, what I can and cannot do. So that is my why. The reason I'm having this today is because I see people leave the company. They've been in two weeks. They've been in four weeks. Where's your why? Where's your passion of what you started? Why are you leaving? Because this can be so profitable, both um, the time freedom, the uh, financial freedom. You know, financial freedom is a hard thing to say because it doesn't mean that you're completely free of all finances, but I'm four times the salary I was making before, four times. I'm making six figures for the first time ever in my life. This is this will be my, I think, second year of making six figures. I could have been making six figures before, but no, those bosses made the six figures, not me. So now I'm making it. And you know what? If I need to take a day off, yesterday I took a day off. I was just not in the mood to work. I wanted to lay on the couch and watch Lifetime TV. And you know what? That's what I did. I watched a movie yesterday. Nobody told me I couldn't do it, but I knew in my mind I had to get up early this morning and start working again. So I do work hard. I work usually about seven days a week. I'm not saying I work eight to five, seven days a week. The weekends I don't. 
But by me doing that, it's giving me that freedom financially to, you know, my husband makes good money, but we were paycheck to paycheck a lot of times. It was like a roller coaster. It was like, oh, we're doing great. Oh, wait, we need a new water heater. Oh, we're doing great. Oh, wait, we need a new front door. Who wants to pay for this? Or siding. We had to get rid of stucco on our house and get siding. So there was always that. So my why is never work for a boss again, to work hard for myself. So when I see people leave the company, I'm like, what made you, what made you join? Are you coming in for a quick fix, for a quick buck? That's not for you. This is, this is a business opportunity. How can you that quickly forget what your why for joining is? So if your why is, you know, you want to work hard for yourself, know that you can get there, but it will take time in the beginning. Um, if you're, if you come in and you say, well, this is my why, but my mentor is not helping me. You have a whole team to help you. If you're going to have a business opportunity and you're going to be successful, you're going to be a go-getter. You've got to be a go-getter. You've got to, you know, what are our best friends? Google's our best friend. TripAdvisor here is a best friend. Um, jump on the q and A seven days a week. We're offering trainings. I see the same people on the trainings, but then the people who leave say, I didn't get help. We offer you the help. We offer you the Q&As at night, the Q&As on the weekend. But you have to remember your why. You know, it's, and you also have to remember it takes time. I've been doing this for over four years. My first year, you want to see why somebody should have quit? I should have quit. Because when I did quit my full-time job six weeks after starting here, my last day of my two weeks after quitting was the day that the world shut down due to COVID. Shut down. Here I am booking travel and there's nobody to book for because the world just shut down. But I never, ever, ever said I couldn't do this. Not once. I did cry. Liz was saying before about crying. I did cry. I cried for about a month saying I just gave up a salary job for commission only. But instead, I said, OK, what, what do I need to do? I need to change my marketing. I need to change from offering all inclusives and, and Europe trips to offering US trips. And I did book and I did eh, okay in 2020. I didn't do great. I'm not gonna lie. I it did not do great. But I built up my business and I knew that my why was so strong of never working for anyone ever again. What do I need to make do to make this work? So with your why comes your mindset. If your mindset is this is hard, I can't do it. You're not going to be good at it 100%. But if your mindset is, all right, I know this is a business opportunity. I see other people doing this. I see Jody. I see, you know, other top bookers doing this. I know I can get there. What do I need to do to get there? Because your why also always has to be forefront. Whether you want to put it on a whiteboard in front of you, put it on your computer on a post-it, um, I did not do any of that, but I just knew that feeling of being sick and tired of working for somebody else and just either not being appreciated or being appreciated, but saying, oh, we can't give you a raise this year. There are all different things. And so for me, when that obstacle of COVID hit, my why was still bigger than that. And so I knew that I needed to do whatever it took to build up my business. And that's what people have to remember. It is a business. It will take you time to build up. So if your why is, I just want to join for travel. Oh my gosh, you can do so much with this. Uh, I remember um, back in 2020 when, uh, maybe it was 2021, I was talking to um, a friend who's now a client and I'm like, I'm just not making the money. And he said, but you're traveling. So when you go on these trips, count them as income in your mind, because that would be money I'd be paying out of my pocket. Maybe I'm paying less money. Maybe I'm making commissions off of it. Maybe I'm getting, you know, I got some free trips. It could be something like that. But you have to remember, like, so if your why is you want to travel more, remember that if you book for other people, a lot of times you can travel for free because you earn free hotel stays if you enter into loyalty point uh, loyalty rewards. Um, so 
I'm going to read some of these, Ashley. Um, my why, I want to help financially support my family and help get money for IVF. I actually just watched something on the Today Show this morning, Aaron Andrews, talking about that and how um, expensive it is. So that's supporting your family, building your family, um, self-fulfillment, already working from home, wanted another work from home job and to hopefully switch to permanently working for myself. So give yourself a goal on that, Ashlyn. Give yourself a goal. If you wanna work for yourself, figure out how much money you need, how many trips that might amount to and give yourself a goal. It might be six months, it might be a year. I mean, I did it with no backup. I did it, uh, granted my husband does have a job, but um, I did it six weeks into this just saying, I am so sick and tired of working for this woman. Uh, get out of the comfort zone of living paycheck to paycheck. Yes, 100%. Um, that was, like I said, it was a roller coaster. So Rochelle, you started three weeks ago. You said you're recently divorced after 13 years and moved to San Antonio. Um, you're very excited for this new journey. This is what crushes my soul is when somebody says how excited they are and then two weeks or a month later they leave. Remember that. Remember that excitement. It's going to be ups and downs here. It's not like anything. I mean, it's not all sunshine and roses and all that. There are going to be ups and downs. But look at these people. Rachel Brown's been here two and a half years. Um, I've been here over four years. Ashley, I believe is a year, if I'm correct, or around a year. Uh, I don't know if Jennifer's on. Jennifer's three, just turned three years. Uh, Sam Iorio's three and a half years. This has changed all of our lives. So get past that first year, get or that first month, that second month, that third month, but you have to remember your why. Um, I love this. Uh, put your mind to... You can do anything. Oh, show my kids you can do anything you put your mind to and that you don't have to work in the corporate world to be successful. Correct. You know what? It's interesting because I'll say to my husband, I am not one to be full of myself. But I, like we were just away for seven nights for free with our travel perks. And we're staying at Impressions Isla Maharis, which was going for, I think they said the Garden View room was going 1300 a night. I didn't pay anything for it. And I turned to my husband, I said, I am damn proud of what I've done. I have built up this business, which I feel with integrity. Um, I have helped people. I just had somebody I spoke to this morning and said, it's two women who are going to London for the Phillies game in June. And the woman said, you have been a godsend. Thank you so much. I have referred somebody else to you. Um, it's taking stress off people's when they're trying to book vacations. It is you know, you see people who get engaged or who go on their uh, honeymoons or all this, you're part of their world now. You're part of their world. So if I ever let my why go in the back, in the background, I probably would have quit. I probably would have quit um, because there are good days and bad days. And I would have quit in 2020 if I did not remember my why. Is there anyone here that wants to share their why publicly? other than in the chat. So you can unmute. Actually, Liz, um, oh good. I was gonna ask you to tell because I didn't have you recorded when you said it. I have a similar story to yours, uh, but <clears throat> I don't have the obstacle of 2020. Uh, I, was, I have worked for 40 years in the corporate world, in the administration side of things poured my heart and soul into it, showed up every day with integrity. And just recently on January 4th, my boss and I broke up with each other and I, I left the company and she said goodbye. <laughs> so um, I knew it was coming and it was time to get out of that trap of, I felt like I was hunched over my desk every single day with a gun to my head, having to perform you know, the utmost every single day. And so I moped around a little bit and I have been toying with this opportunity. I thought, I'm just going to do it. So I have dived in and um, I am 
a single person uh, in my early 60s. So it's all up to me. And <clears throat> just like you, I, I intend to take my integrity from my professional corporate life uh, into this. Um, I feel like every day I jump down a rabbit hole. There's always something new. But <clears throat> the trainings are, you know, also what keep me going. And, you know, my why is I do not ever, I will not. I got in the car that day and I thought to myself, I will not let this define me. And I will never, you know, push myself on somebody and support somebody like that ever again. Yep. It's, it's all up to me now. Yeah. So, and, and it feels great. Very liberating. Yeah. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I mean, I get excited to work every day. I am happy to open my computer now. Granted, I told you yesterday I was not. I was very tired. I did not want to work, and I wanted to watch a movie, and that's okay. Um, but for the most part, I'm excited to get up and work. Um, weekends, I work not. I mean, I sit there with the TV on. It's not like I'm just working, but I enjoy it. Uh, I was gonna just say something else. Um, I'll get back to it when I it comes back in my brain. Bud, you wanted to say something too. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, just, you know, sharing a story. I think we all have our, our independent stories of how we want to get started. I, I absolutely say the same thing. You know, let, let's stay motivated to why we joined. So I've been, uh, I joined two weeks ago um, on Team Horizon. Uh, my mentor is Leslie Meek. And, you know, our why, our why is a little bit more complicated. My wife got breast cancer. Uh, 2018 breast cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, going through that, just finishing up uh, a couple of her last surgeries. I lost my job last year in February as a, as a corporate uh, team member. And uh, you know, the, the idea there that we're all saying is, is my boss wanted me to be a boss, not a leader. And so uh, I started uh, at home uh, working from, home. And in July, I had uh, I had some pretty significant stuff hit me. I was supposed to live for 12 to 36 hours is what they gave me uh, because of a blood clot. Uh, in November, the blood clot went through, uh, through my system. And then about 40 days ago, a blood clot hit my brain. So um, that's our three stories. My wife is, has almost left me twice in the last year uh, due to the breast cancer. So, you know, we love to travel. We've been on every continent except for you know the poles. Uh, we love the Caribbean. Why not share our experiences with the others and and kind of dig in? So we're at that point in our life that we're uh, we picked it up as a part time job, but we could very much see this being uh, a full time job. My wife sits five feet from me, so uh, when I say power team, we don't leave each other's side. This is we work and and. Uh, and we play equally the same. So. Nice, nice. Yeah, breast cancer. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, thank you. And tell your wife I am, well, both of you. I mean, you could have been on the Q&A last time because we were just doing a WebMD Q&A. We were all talking about our ailments. So. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'm probably going to mess up your name. Is it Maurice, Maurice, Maurice Anna? Can I call on you? It's Mauriciana. Mauriciana. Okay. You say I have so much I could say for why is my, what is my why? What is, what would you say? Um, and, and part of, I have four kids, so I might get interrupted. Um, um, well, how do I start? Okay. So last, this past year has been the hardest year for me and for my family, I had my last daughter in June of last year, and we were already struggling staying in a hotel. Um, a lot of people tend to hire me more over my husband. We moved to North Carolina, and um, I think it's like a racing. He has even a bigger background than me. He's, you know, he's a little older than me, too. And um, so I would stress myself going and working. I was sick with her I was really sick while pregnant with her but I would work and he really hated and he always tried and always tried to look um I first seen um well he sent me like he was just we always look on indeed and he sent me something um regarding a travel agency I think it was like dream vacations or something um 
he's like, you can, he's like, this is something you could do and where you don't have to be out as much. Um, me and him are different. It's not more of his thing. It's more of like mine, something I would do. And so he, uh, but we just didn't have the money at the time because everything always costs. And um, I, I had been through like so many different um, like travel agencies and visited the webinars, even Archer. I've I've been on one before, long before I even um, signed up. And uh, to make a long story short, I um, after I had my daughter, I almost died. After I had her, I had to have a C-section because she was breech. And I um, ended up having to go to the hospital right after I got released because I had fluid in my lungs. And when I got to the hospital, my pulse was at a 14. I was dying. And they removed like over 30 pounds of fluid from my lungs. And ever since then, I haven't been right. I went right back to work. Shouldn't have went right back to work because... Um, I had to, his, um, his job, was, he, when he finally got one and it wasn't enough, um, it just wasn't enough. We were staying in a motel where our car wasn't working. So we had no choice, but to work at the very few places around where we were staying. Um, the apartment we're in, we, now we had to fight to get in here. I, my, my wives, of course, were my family. You know, I want to leave them something, but it's, I've learned over time to really love myself because I've struggled a lot and I have a bad background and um, everything I am or try to be as far as a woman and a person is on my own. And um, I, I'm not really good like with expressing like myself, but. Well, can I ask how I, long have you been with us? I've been like almost two weeks. And so I, I do join. I do join every time I can. I hear I join a chat. Even if my kids are in the background, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm dealing with them because they're also homeschooled. I'm homeschooling them. And so um, even if I could only just hear, you know, here and there, like other people's questions and everything that sinks into my brain, even if you don't think it is, it does. And so, you know, like when, when you said, like, you see the same people and some people don't need to train. I know I need it. So I join as almost everyone I can. I'm on Team Infinity. Um, Andy is great. You know, she's been very kind. I have, um, I was going to join, actually finished joining with Dream Vacations until I seen how, how they treated, like, on uh, it was like a Zoom call, how they had treated, like, each other, like, and how they were talking to some of the people that had joined the call. I very much didn't like it, but I very much liked you know, when I first listened to the Archer Travel and I, you know, I was like, yeah, I was like, I couldn't find it. I couldn't think of the name. I was like, I know I listened to when, you know, had joined a Zoom call before with you guys and I couldn't find it. And some months later, like just, just a few weeks ago, it popped back up. It popped back up and I found it because I found Andy Land Adventures. I found Andy. So my, when I say my, why I have so many reasons of why I do, because it's for myself, it's for my family. It's because I love helping with, you know, making people laugh. One thing, you know, I've done a lot of my jobs is that I went from one job to another. I would like, I, I, I was working at Macy's and there was just some foul stuff going on. And I transferred from Colorado, which is where I'm from. So I thought it would be fine. Um, that was like, I'm, I'm a firm believer. I will stand up to people, even if I'm not the one being mistreated and then I see someone else, I just can't help myself. So then I was convinced to go to Nordstrom. They're commission-based, um, but it's an unhealthy commission. I like literally got assaulted there twice. And I was told if I defend myself, I'll get fired. So I left there. Then I went to GameStop. But then my illness, like, I'm just sick. But when I say like, I have a lot of problems, I have to probably get my thyroid removed. I have a lot of stuff going on. I had to, as GameStop, I was there for only two weeks. And they were, by, I was getting paid the lowest I've gotten paid at any job. But I was with the sweetest people ever. Only five people work in the store. But I couldn't work because of my health. I just cannot physically work. And um, I've had, you know, so this is all for, you know, there's just many reasons that I can't really explain. You know, I started making like TikTok videos and social media. So if anyone eventually follows me on there, I share more of my story. I'm also a writer. I'm also a poet. And I, sh I will be sharing my, you know, my story and my journey. So for this, you, like, you know, it's a business opportunity. Um, and it will take time. So, mm -hmm. you know, people with similar backgrounds as you, some of the reasons why they leave is because of finances. Um, mm -hmm. But we do teach on instant commissions. 
but also like what I say is maybe there is something, I know I'm not saying you do this, but um, you know, people go to Starbucks or people go to McDonald's or people do this. And if you cut that out, take that money and invest in yourself because that's what it is. And when you also said this job or that job, I feel what I love about this, this isn't a job, this is my career. Yeah. So yeah. it's building something for you that will take time. And I hope you have the time that it, it takes to build this up because it can be, especially with having four children at home and, and having the medical issues, it can be such a blessing. It really it can. I told myself no more um, excuses, even if they were legit reasons, no more reasons. I'm making myself find time to do it because I, this is, I'm learning and I love to learn. And that's what I like about the job is I'm learning. And people have to remember too, if you are in a rut or something and you're forgetting your why, um, talk to your mentor. If your mentor isn't available, reach out to your platinum, Sam Iorio, reach out to myself, reach out to your gold. I just had a talk with one of my agents today that I don't normally talk to. Um, but yeah. it was it was about, you know, you got to get out of your own head sometimes. Definitely, uh, definitely that. Yeah. So thank Part, you for sharing. Said and done. <laughs> thank you for sharing. So, you. so I like I said, I think what, um, oh, yep. I would love actually, Tori, can you unmute? Still here? Tori Kim? Yes, I'm here, sorry. <laughs> I was to move to a bit quieter room. Um, so my why had when I first you started- You put on your camera or no? Yep. Okay. Again, sorry, my kids are in the background. But nobody has to say sorry, because that's the thing. We can work from home with kids, yes. with husbands, with dogs, with whatever. So. <laughs> um, so when I first started, it was because my why was because I was sick. Outside of my home, away from my kids, weekends, nights, everything, just to try. I wouldn't say to like. Yes, we live paycheck to paycheck, but we were comfortable doing it, but we still wanted to do fun things and we couldn't do that. Like we couldn't go out to eat and we couldn't go on vacations or anything like that. So we wanted just more cushion. Um, and so I was working on the weekends and overnights and things like that. And I, my husband was, has a friend that was a travel agent. He was like, I think that would be something really good for you. And that next day I was scrolling through Facebook and I found Jody's post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I signed up that night. Um, or I'm sorry, it was the, I think the meeting was in a few days. And then I signed up that day that I watched the webinar and then I didn't do anything for a few months and I was still working part-time jobs, CNAs, bartends, everything. And I just hated leaving my family. And so I started it because of I wanted to be home with my kids all the time. And I lately have been, was going through a bit of a rut and I just had to kind of sit down and realize this isn't just so I can be home with my kids. And I don't mean to sound like a shitty mom because of that, but um, I love my children and I of course want to be home with them, but it's also for me, like I just got to book ourselves a cruise and I never would have pictured that being an option for our family for a very long time. And um, it's also been kind of my getaway from my family. Like it's become something that I'm passionate about, something sort that of I what love. Carolyn said earlier, she put in the chat, self-fulfillment. Yes. You're, because especially as moms, a lot of us are saying we're just moms. Yeah. We're just this. I'm and just first of all, being a mom is the hardest job in the world, but um, it gives you something about you, not just based on a wife or a mother. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what like I was again, like I just said, I was kind of going through a little rut and just my mentality went downhill even further because I wasn't doing anything for me anymore. I was waking up, I was doing dishes, laundry and taking care of my kids and that's it. And I just had to sit back and really focus on why I want to do, I, why I want to do it, not just for financially, but me personally, why I want to keep doing this. And also when my kids go to school in a few years, my youngest, I don't want to go find a job that I have to worry about taking off for my kids when they're sick, or I have to 
schedule doctor's appointments around my schedule. I don't want to do that. And I want to make this my full-time job in two years when they go to school. So, and Tori had to remember her why, because she did have hard clients and yeah. it's, it's very easy to have a hard client and be like, I want to quit. No, you don't, don't quit because of a hard client. Maybe walk away from the computer for a bit, gather your thoughts. But another thing Tori did was before the summer, we had a talk because you didn't know how the summer would be with your kids. Yes. That's why I say reach out to your mentor. Not that we have all the answers because we don't, but sometimes it's just good to speak to somebody else and get somebody else's perspective um, mm -hmm. as far as that as well. So. And even sometimes just saying the words out loud to someone, like you can think everything positive in your mind. You can think all the negative things in your mind that you want to, but until you say them out loud to somebody, they don't even have to give you feedback, but just saying them out loud, I feel like makes them register even more. So like Jody said, reach out to your mentor and talk to them. And another thing, um, I don't know who was on a building uh, call yesterday with Infinity, but Charles Lee mentioned something about, and I'm going to paraphrase, um, but basically listen to the people who are po positive, the positive thoughts. Don't listen to those negative thoughts. Um I'm very fortunate. My husband is extremely supportive of this, but not everybody has a spouse or, <clears throat> or friends who are supportive of this. And they think it's, you know, a scam or it's, you know, you're not bringing in money and they don't understand the business opportunity aspect, a 1099 versus a job. Why would you have to pay for something? My husband did say that in the beginning. Put that noise aside. You need to listen to the people who you want to, like, you know, everyone says, copy the right cat. Be like somebody, talk to them, reach out. If there's somebody in the company, and it doesn't have to be on our team, that really have impressed you, say, do you have a few minutes to talk? And get listen to them and listen to the their positive thoughts rather than the negative thoughts. Try and push out those negative thoughts. Um, I know for a fact that we have some spouses on not on here, but some spouses who have not been supportive. Um, but prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. So, um, all right, Katie, what did you want to share? Okay, so my why started as I worked in the medical field for like six years, and then all of a sudden that all ended. It was all work from home. And I joined for the perks, more or less, as my husband has a full-time job and has been support, supporting us the whole time. So I started the booking side, booked a little bit, took a break, jumped back on the bandwagon, found out I was pregnant with him. And now my wife has actually changed to be a stay-at-home mom with him. And it's been probably one of the best opportunities I've ever had in my life because he's now going to be 10 months old. And I've gotten to be there for every single one of his firsts. Um, and I'll still be able to be there for all of his firsts until he's ready to go to school. All thanks to Ooh. finding Jody's post on Facebook and becoming a travel agent. So. And you get on a lot of trainings and you ask the questions in the chat. And that is what makes people successful. So yes, yeah, so it's actually my two year today. So happy anniversary. Thank you. Uh, now she says two years, but that girl didn't do work for part of those two years. So I'm just yeah, saying. I only worked for like maybe maybe a year, but yeah. I have been with the company for two. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, somebody, I'm not gonna call out the name. Somebody put a direct message to me that they've asked for help, either been blown off or ghosted. I did respond to you. So if you can respond to me, um, given a lot of bad information, and unfortunately it's been a disappointing experience. So I can't say anything regarding that. But what I will say is my mentor never helped me past day one, super nice woman, but never helped me. She didn't want to team build. She, the person who brought me to the call blew me off. So I found her on LinkedIn and I asked her to sponsor me. Um, I've, I jumped on trainings. I reached out to people. I remember my first group wedding, I had nobody to help me in team infinity. So I reached out to somebody outside of team infinity a message and said, can you help me? And they did. They're not making any commissions off of me, but they helped me. So find that person, go to your platinum, go to your gold, go and ask for the help. Um, 
but I did ask you who your mentor is. If you don't answer me here, make sure that reach out to me and um, I can see what I can do as far as that. So, and also I want to say, I liked what um, Brian said, you have to get out of your own head. You can't let your fear run your thoughts. 100%, 100%, because honestly, if you don't have fear with this, something's wrong because it is, it is scary. It's, it's commission only. It's a business opportunity. Um, but when you get to build the business and you get to be four years in like me and you have the income just rising every year with less work in, per se, because I don't have to market myself. People are finding me referrals, repeat clients, things like that. The fear gets less as well. And the fear gets less and your self-esteem gets higher. Okay. So just remember that as far as that. Um, uh, Donna, are you? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Give me one second. Uh, do, 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 do. Jody, can I say something real quick while you're, while you're looking? No, you can't. No words of okay. wisdom from you, Brian. Okay. Well, thank okay. you. <laughs> okay, go All ahead. Right. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't mean any disrespect to nobody, but my wife was totally against me doing this. Um, but I did it anyway, that type of thing. Because I've tried so many different things in the past that haven't worked. Um, but I had a one of the best phones I've ever had about this. Now, I, I haven't. I work a full-time job, 50 hours a week usually, plus try and come home and do this. And I'm, I'm really worn out, but I try to still do it. Um, but you, my wife is now seeing some of the results. We haven't got our first commission check yet, but it's coming very soon. Um, so I've, I've started booking things and she's seeing some of the results and she's slowly coming around. So that that's a good thing. Once she, they start seeing that you're actually are booking, I think the spouses will back you up 100%. And once once they start getting the free travel with you, they want yes. to send back you up. Um, yes. My People husband is my biggest. Me. Yeah, he's my biggest cheerleader because he keeps going on these trips with me. So, uh, yeah. But Brian, how long have you been in? I've been in eight months. Uh, well, uh, the six will be eight months exactly. But um, I've gotten five bookings. Most of it's been family, but that, my family is pushing pushing, pushing people to me. So it's helping. That's how I'm, that's how I'm getting started. I'm trying to get away from just family oh, and yeah. get myself out there more. So that's, that's my biggest goal right now. And I know you're working on the social media with that and I see yes. your videos and all that stuff. So yes. yes, you guys don't want to book for family and friends. You definitely want to book for other people, right. but um, I just want to, Tina's why is to eliminate her working two jobs plus this and to not work for someone else. I can now quit the second job and just work my full time and my travel business. Nice. Um, so I, I think when you're having those hard days, you forget your why. When the money's tight, you forget your why. Um, you need to, like I said, find that money. If, if I didn't have the money, I would find it somehow because this is investing in myself. Um, you've got to remember your why guys. And, and if you're brand new or your mentor is not helping you that they, no excuses. There are plenty of people on our team to help plenty of people. Um, like I said, reach out to me, reach out to Sam. That's what my son wants to do. Donate plasma. Um, reach out to Sam Ioria. We will help you. Uh, but your why and your why can change. Like Katie said, her why changed. Your why definitely can change, but please always remember it because I do. I get sad when I see people leave and I think they never gave it a chance. This could have been so much for them. I want what I feel for this company and for my business. I want everyone else to have that feeling as well. I really do. So um, I just want to have a little pop up about remember your why, because I think sometimes we forget and sometimes it is. You can hear somebody else's story and it might resonate with you. So anybody want to say anything before we finish? I've got something to say. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no. Like so if anybody doesn't know me, you see my face a lot. I do a lot of trainings. Um, I definitely want to see people be successful. Um, I do team build as well, but I would get on team for my team. I would do like team meetings like we have every month with Horizon. Um, but I would get on my team meetings and I would tell my team that I will put their success before I put my own. I would rather them succeed before I succeed. Did that hurt me? Yes. But I also would rather see other people be successful and understand how life-changing this honestly can be. Um, I'm a big person. I suck at consistency. I get yelled at all the time for not being consistent. How and many times I, have you wanted to quit? How many times have I wanted to quit? I don't know if I could count on two hands. <laughs> um, have I quit though? No, because you guys still see me. The reason isn't just because of, you know, I wouldn't be able to give this up. Um, a little bit of backstory. I don't want to take up too much time, but I, when I started this, I was taking care of my dad full time. Um, he ended up getting diagnosed with stage three cancer. Um, and I had to take care of him full time while also raising my kids. Um, they go to school. So I was working around their school schedule, working around doctor's appointments. I was a stay at home mom when I started this. Um, just because of the corporate world, not giving me a paid maternity leave and stuff like that with my son. So I did become a stay at home mom and I got those, I missed the first with my daughters. And I said, you know, I can't do that again. I want to be home with them. So I knew I had to make this work, but I don't put myself up where I should. I talk down a lot about myself and I get in my own head a lot and if you want to be successful, you have to have that mindset of the positive mindset. And you always have to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. I say that to myself all the time. And a big thing that stuck with me too is another leader within the organization, uh, Frederick Howell. He did a training and at the end of his training, it was all about, you know, excuses and stuff like that. But the biggest thing that really stuck with me on that whole training was he said, don't let your excuses excuse you. And that's what's pushing me to still go. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for, you know, the support that I had from Jody and Sam and Jennifer, because I didn't have the guidance that I needed when I first got started. I did a lot of it on my own, but I found the resources and I found the people that were going to support me. So when people say their mentor isn't helping, you aren't branching out or reaching out to people that want you to succeed, because that is also a perk is you need to find the people that are going to push you to succeed and help you. Because I get told every day from Jody and Sam and Jennifer and Ashley and Kara and a lot of people that I'm not allowed to leave and I'm not no. allowed to quit. And your, but... your issue was Rachel knows so much about so much with this. She could train anyone on this but she wasn't booking. Why aren't you booking? And why weren't you booking? Consistent. Not I wasn't sharing consistency. my <laughs> You were in your own head and afraid yes. to book. You were afraid. And I'm of still afraid. Like, it's like Jody said, you're going to have fear all the time. Jody still gets mm -hmm. uh, scared when she does bookings and stuff. It, you're going to have that fear. The uh, latest booking that I just did, I booked an $11,000 cruise, never booked a cruise yet. So it was my first cruise booking and I was shaking like a leaf as I'm typing names in booking a cruise. So don't, but don't let that fear. And you sent you know. us, you sent the quote to me. It looked perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and that's what your mentor, or if your mentor is not there, like I said, your gold or your platinum, reach out to them, say, can you look at my quote? Can you look at, you know, I'm working on this booking. We are here to help you, but we don't know if you need help unless you ask. Exactly. That's the thing. Um, but so for Rachel, we had many talks. I said, you now have an accountability partner, wh whether you want one or not. And we would meet, I think it was every Monday and it was okay. I gave her things to do and she didn't listen to me, or maybe she did one thing. And then we'd have a talk the next week. But her main thing was she was afraid to book. And I was like, think about the bookings you've already had. You haven't made the mistakes. Like, why are you afraid? Like you're holding, you're holding yourself back. And that's what many of us do. We are very hard on ourselves. Ashley Evans wanted to say something. 
I do. Um, one, yes, Rachel is correct. We will not let her go. Yeah. Um, I enjoy my English class with Rachel Brown very much on meetings. For, for anyone who does not understand, Rachel <laughs> has um, some problems with the English language at times. <laughs> um, but it's comical. But, <laughs> but one thing, like Jody said, um, reach out to people because they're, I mean, I do see in the chats, you know, people say about their mentor and things like that. Um, I was kind of in the same boat. Um, I, I think I wanted more than what um, I wanted. I'm not sure how to say this. Um, so I was looking to do more with this business than what I was being offered. So I went out and um, went to other people. I met with Jody. So one a really quick story. Um, when I first started, I've been in other business opportunities where people would not have mentor time with me unless I hit a certain rank within my business because I was not worth their time. Um, when I first started, Jody had some free time on her calendar and offered everybody in the chat her link and said, hey, I have some um, opens openings for one-on-ones you can schedule, you know, here's my link to schedule. And my very first question was, oh, is this for new agents? Because in my mindset coming from a different opportunity, like Jody is equivalent to the person I wanted to meet with in my other opportunity. Um, and they told me no. And she said, absolutely. So I was able to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her um, and talk about things that um, I was looking to do with this. At first it came into just the perks. Now, um, because I'm a special needs mom, I want to focus on special needs travel. Um, just this year, I was invited to the evolution corporate team, mm -hmm. um, special disability training. So that was a huge thing for me. And like Jody said, no matter where, I've met so many people. My first live event was birthday party and I had the time of my life that weekend. <laughs> I met so many people, um, which led me into just this past, um, this past month, I was out for regionals and I asked Amy Cabrera, who is, um, our two star platinum and I, she lives in Vegas and I'm like, Hey, I would just, I would love to meet up with you just to pick her brain because everybody, and if you've ever had, I know Amy's been on some of our calls, she is like, she just has this very intoxicating mm -hmm. personality that's very like, she's a hype woman, you know? Um, and she did, and she met with me. And you know what, I could have, so the hotel I was staying at, Brett Michaels was staying, was had a concert there and I thought about going, but to me, I rather have had that time to talk with Amy or anybody, like even if it was Jody that lived out there. Um, I like that. Even if I, I won't take offense, that sounded like even <laughs> that little peon. <laughs> so, Go ahead. I love Go you, ahead. Jody. But, Don't so, like, her. <laughs> say I would actually ever want to go back and visit Pennsylvania again, I would put Jody on my list of people to go and visit first. Um, unfortunately, I have no desire to go back there. That is my has been life and we're good. I'll wait for Jody to come this way, um, which she did. So I got, you know, Jody was here in Sedona and in Arizona and we all met up for lunch. So, um, but I just mean the people who live on my side of the country. <laughs> sorry don't kill me um but i could have went to that concert but i chose to sat there you know to go and hang out with amy cabrera and talk about different things um and that's kind of and it came down to choices like what what are you gonna choose like i could have chose the has been brett michaels <laughs> Or I could have done something that's going to build me, build my business, um, and expand my growth. And that so, is also, not to interrupt, um, a choice as far as convention, because yeah. you get all of that at convention too. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really, and I'm really excited. And I do want to tell you guys, um, everybody, no matter when we were at birthday party, um, Jody and I were talking to David McCovey. And if you have the chance to talk to him, I can guarantee you, he's going to listen to you. Yep. He is not going to 
kind of just sit there and nod his head and be like, mm -hmm, yeah, oh yeah, I totally agree. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what, what really got me this year, and I even told Amy this as well when I met up with her, is how I knew I was at the right place and I was with the right people is during February's founders call, David McCovey brought up the conversation I had with him. Now, granted, he didn't remember my name, but we're going to work on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but he mentioned about how he was talking with somebody, with Jody Orworski, with one of the agents, and how this has become the best 69 Okay, so some of us came in at 69.95. Just get that out there. <laughs> there was a price change. Um, how everybody here is like the best 69.95 friends I could ever have. And he brought that up in the call. And that made me realize this yeah. is, I'm at the place where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's all I was going to say. No, thank you. No, thank you for that. So, I mean, so for the people who feel lost and don't feel that their mentor helps, we've all been there. We all get it. But you have a whole team to support you. But if you don't reach out to the team or you don't jump on trainings and you don't we don't know as far as that. We don't know to help you. Um, Rochelle asked, how can I find out other agents in my area? Um, you also, I just put in the Team Infinity uh, Facebook page. They have some chats for certain areas that you can look at now. So. Uh, Thank you. What? Who was just saying something? Anyone? Oh. Um. I said thank you. Okay, perfect. I want to end this with, uh, I just liked uh, Marie, Mauriciana. Mauriciana, I think I said that correctly. I love what she said. It is not just about the destination. It is about the journey to the destination. So on your journey, guys, remember your why. If you ever lose sight of that why, reach out to somebody who is positive, not negative, to be able to talk you through your why again. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. And I hope this helps some of you.